they meant to have a, pa a P there, I think. Uh, Pam, uh, Gamala, uh, Gamma Rays, whatever her name is, um, they, um, they, sh they should put out, the, get the money going. This is what they were fighting about all this, you know, that time. So let's go. Let's get it done. Put the 2.2, hell, make it 3.2 trillion dollars. Get it out there. Get the economy stepping because uh, I don't know. I'm far, I'm far from a, uh, I'm far from a uh, uh, mathematician. I'm far from a, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <laughs> I can't even think of a word. You know, a guy who deals with money or whatever. Um, but uh, I don't know. Something. Uh, uh, let's see, 3.2 trillion dollars. Yeah, that's a, that's a hell of a lot of money. There ain't no doubt about that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, they could because they were kicking that idea around. And so let's shit it get off the pot, and uh, yeah, and uh, get the money. Oh, that's what I was going to say. To me, this stimulus check, second go around, is much more critical than the first. Because the first came along, people still had some money in the bank, 401 was still there, kind of, um, or whatever. You could even have a strong one, but uh, all you have. Then people were losing their jobs, and, and people had to move in with their mom and dad, and their grandma and grandpa, or, or grandma and grandpa had to move in. You see what I'm saying? The, the whole flux of everything, as far as how people live and whatever, changed. It was changing before this COVID. It really was, but not as dramatic because now the loss of jobs and everything are, are intertwined with this mess and it's just but you see what i'm saying this second go around of stimulus is much more important than that first one but yet there's dragging her ass on this let's get the stimulus check out to the people pronto tanto yeah and let's just close the country down for a month subsidize everybody or at least, hey, a third of the country. Let's shut down a third of the country. Anyways, and right now, if they were to shut down a third of the country, it'd be right in the middle of the country. Because, boy, I tell you, uh, uh, yeah, we're not doing too good in the Midwest at all. So anyways, having said that, okay, Nancy Bella Lugosi. Yeah. See you later, witch bitch. <laughs> oh, boy, you got to love it. Anyways. We got to get some serious stuff out here. Captain Woman's podcast always has been and always will be a military appreciation station. And God bless you, guys and gals out there serving this great country of ours. And I heard, I hope you had a chance, uh, my fellow vets and my brothers. I hope you had a chance to get out and uh, get your free meal. And I, I, I elected to pass this year because of the virus. And I just, uh, I don't know. I just felt safer. Yeah, I, I'm not going to risk my life or anybody else's life um, to go down and have a free burger and some fries. Uh, although at times I wonder what my little life is worth, but I like to think it's worth more than a goddamn burger and fries. Uh, well, maybe if you threw in a piece of pie too, maybe. Um, but anyways, <laughs> that's the name of that tune. Anyway, I got that shout out to uh, to you guys. Thank you very much, guys. A shout out to Linda, Linda Moore. I'm sorry for your loss, Linda. I'm sorry for your loss, dear. Just remember the good times you had with that man, and and uh, and that, and yes, you do have a special angel watching over you now. Um, we love you here, Linda. Be safe, and uh, we love you. All right. And don't forget that Captain Boomer's podcast is a community service provider podcast. Yes. Yes, we are indeed. Anyway, we're going to be shoving off, guys. You guys you have yourself a, a good Friday the 13th. Be safe out there. Uh, watch the ladders and the black cats. Of course, uh, I own a black cat, but uh, anyway. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys. God bless you. Have a great day, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. Will you wear those masks? <sighs> and everything else. All right? God bless you. I got a ditty mouth.